Hello everybody and welcome back to the iMachines TV channel. Driven steel tube piling is a vital aspect of constructing solid and stable foundations for various structures, including LNG process plants. In the context of an LNG plant in Northern Australia, the use of large diameter steel tube piles up to 12.5 meters in length is crucial for ensuring the structural integrity and long-term stability of the facility. The process of driven steel tube piling involves using powerful hydraulic hammers to forcefully insert the steel tubes into the ground. The hydraulic hammers deliver high-impact blows to the top of the pile, transmitting energy down the pile shaft and into the ground, displacing soil and creating a path for the pile to penetrate deeper. The repetitive driving action causes the steel tube piles to be driven into the ground, forming a robust foundation capable of supporting the weight and load of the LNG process plant. The choice of steel tube piles for this particular LNG plant project is significant due to their inherent strength and durability. Steel is renowned for its high tensile strength, making it an ideal material for piling applications that require the support of heavy structures such as LNG plants. Additionally, steel tube piles offer excellent resistance to corrosion, ensuring the longevity of the foundation in the harsh environment often found in northern Australia. The large diameter of the steel tube piles further enhances their load-bearing capacity. The greater surface area of the pile allows for the distribution of the structure's weight over a larger area, reducing the risk of settlement and ensuring a more stable foundation. Driven steel tube piling is a proven and efficient method for constructing strong foundations for LNG process plants. Its ability to provide stability, withstand heavy loads, and resist corrosion makes it an excellent choice for projects in demanding environments like Northern Australia. The construction process of the QCLNG jetty involves several key steps. The jetty is approximately 250 meters long extending from the onshore abutment to the front of the jetty head. It features three luring dolphins on each side and two breast dolphins. The construction work is carried out using a traveler arrangement and marine spreads. The traveler is a standalone equipment that serves as a working platform during the transition between land and offshore operations. Once the trestle reaches the jetty head, it is reconfigured to install modules on the second half of the bend's key. Safety is a major concern, including work over water and at heights, requiring specialized equipment and coordination among various contractors and subcontractors. The breakwater construction at Port City Colombo is a significant project aimed at ensuring the safety and stability of the reclaimed land and the surrounding area. The breakwater serves as a protective barrier, shielding the port and the newly formed beach from the impact of extreme storm conditions. The construction process involves careful planning and engineering expertise. The breakwater is typically constructed using large concrete blocks or rock formations strategically placed along the coastline. These structures help reduce the energy of incoming waves, thereby creating a calmer sea condition within the protected area. The construction of the breakwater at Port City Colombo involves extensive surveying, geotechnical studies, and design work to ensure its effectiveness. It also requires the use of specialized machinery and equipment to transport and position the heavy materials. The construction team follows a meticulous timeline and adheres to stringent safety protocols to ensure the project's success.
They work closely with engineers, marine experts, and environmental consultants to minimize any potential impact on the surrounding ecosystem. Once completed, the breakwater will provide a secure harbor for ships and vessels, allowing for efficient and safe maritime operations. It will also create a tranquil beachfront, enhancing the recreational and tourism potential of Port City Colombo. TJS Marine, known as the Jetty Specialist, is responsible for the design and construction of the Clump Point Boating Infrastructure Project. This project entails the creation of a concrete jetty, aluminum pontoons, and a concrete floating walkway. The construction of the Clump Point Jetty involves careful planning and expertise in marine engineering. TJS Marine's team of specialists has extensive experience in designing and building jetties that can withstand the challenges of the marine environment. The concrete jetty serves as a sturdy and reliable platform for boating activities. It provides a safe and accessible area for boats to dock, ensuring ease of embarkation and disembarkation for boaters and passengers alike. The aluminum pontoons are designed to provide stability and buoyancy for boats, enabling them to remain afloat even in turbulent waters. These pontoons are lightweight yet robust, offering durability and resistance to corrosion. ICOP Spa is an Italian company specializing in offshore piling services based in Trieste. With a reputation for excellence and expertise, ICOP has established itself as a leading player in the offshore construction industry. The company offers a wide range of piling solutions for various offshore structures, including oil and gas platforms, wind farms, and marine infrastructure projects. ICOP's piling services involve the installation of foundation piles using advanced techniques and equipment. The company employs highly skilled engineers, technicians, and operators who ensure the precise and efficient execution of piling operations. They leverage state-of-the-art technology and adhere to stringent safety and environmental standards to deliver reliable and sustainable solutions. Trieste, strategically located on the Adriatic Sea, provides ICOP with a geographically advantageous position for offshore projects in the Mediterranean region. The company's local presence and extensive experience enable them to effectively manage the unique challenges posed by offshore environments, such as harsh weather conditions and complex geotechnical conditions. In June 2012, Sheet Piling UK Limited was invited to tender for the construction of two circular cofferdams at the Outer Harbour breakwaters forming the entrance to Great Yarmouth Harbour. The project had strict conditions requiring the cofferdam installation to be completed by the end of August 2012, with minimal disruption to normal harbour activities and ship movements. Sheet Piling UK Limited chose a construction method that involved pre-assembling the sheet pile cofferdams on adjacent key sites before lifting, floating, and positioning the fabricated works using a large shear leg crane barge.
To begin the construction process, a robust temporary work support frame was fabricated and assembled on the quayside. The interlocking sheet piles with straight web profiles were carefully placed around the frame and secured at the upper level. Pile creep was closely monitored to ensure the circle was closed without inducing closure strain. A jacket piling barge was mobilized and positioned at the proposed installation location. A Smith Tuck Lift 7 shear leg barge was brought in for heavy duty lifting, and straps were connected to lifting points on the temporary works assembly. The fabricated cofferdam, weighing approximately 400 tons, was then lifted from the quayside and precisely floated into position using GPS positioning techniques. Once accurately lowered onto the seabed, 860 mm diameter tubular piles were vibrated to a depth of 5 meters to firmly anchor the structure in place. The straight web sheet piles were sequentially driven to the design level using a crane suspended vibratory hammer. Hydraulic pumps were used to place fill materials from a land-based stockpile, effectively filling the cells of the cofferdam. This innovative construction method allowed both cofferdams to be accurately installed at the harbor entrance within a one-week period, without causing any disruption to normal harbor operations. It is believed that this was the first time such a method of constructing cellular sheet pile cofferdams had been used in the tidal waters of the UK. The entire subcontract works were completed by the end of August 2012, meeting the contract deadline. The circular cofferdams provided the necessary structural support for the outer harbor breakwaters, allowing for continued safe navigation into Great Yarmouth Harbor. The construction process demonstrated the use of advanced techniques and careful planning to minimize disruption and ensure the successful completion of the project within the SIFI timeframe. The standby jetty construction project at the Port of the Age in the Gulf of Cambay, located on the west coast of India, is a significant endeavor. This port serves as a crucial terminal for the offloading of liquefied natural gas, LNG, and plays a vital role in India's energy infrastructure. PetroNet LNG awarded the project to AFCONS, which aims to construct a standby jetty for PetroNet LNG. The construction of this jetty presents several major challenges. The area experiences rough sea conditions with high tidal variations and strong currents. The location of the jetty is in a deep sea region where the tidal variation can reach up to 10 meters, making it one of the most severe in the international scenario. However, AFCONS, with its rich experience in working on challenging offshore projects in India and overseas, was confident in completing the project ahead of schedule. Designed on international standards and codes for safe operation and serviceability, the jetty is intended to facilitate the berthing and offloading of LNG vessels in all seasons. The new jetty, running parallel to an existing one, will increase the storage capacity of Petronet LNG for LNG. It extends 2.5 kilometers into the sea and features a jetty head structure consisting of breasting dolphins and warring dolphins to secure the ships during the offloading process. Various catwalks connect different parts of the jetty head structure. The standout feature of the jetty is its ability to receive large LNG carriers of up to 266,000 cubic meters and offload the product to storage tanks within 24 hours. It is the largest jetty in India capable of accommodating ships of this size and capacity. To construct the jetty in an area with a high tide of up to 10 meters, 
Afghans deployed their largest self elevating platform called Samrat. This massive jack up platform, weighing 2,928 tons, is designed to work in depths of more than 30 meters. Additionally, Afghans utilized smaller jack up platforms like Maharaja and Maharani for specific tasks. The construction process involved various stages, including the erection of piles, procurement and joining of steel pipes, and placement of prefabricated concrete decking. Modern machinery and efficient processes were employed to ensure speedy, safe, and high quality execution of the project.